All right, welcome everyone. We're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we're here for Mob, Mob Psycho 100, 100 Season 3, three episode, episode 1. We get to say it, Caleb. Yep, yep the final we season get to say two. It. The final season. Yep, That's right. Yep. That's this right. The manga's all done. The manga's and done. The this Holy is gonna finish shit. it, and one of our favorite shows of all time to grace the modern mm -hmm. era of anime with yeah. an OP protagonist with an underpowered heart. Well, what are you talking about? Well, his an heart underdog. Is, his heart is overpowered. Well, his, uh, his heart his is heart overpowered. Is overpowered. That's his true. psychic That's abilities true. have nothing on his heart. Yeah, yeah. And no. I, like. I, when his heart goes 100, that's that's where that's where exactly. shit goes down. Exactly. His heart goes beyond 100 even. Exactly. It goes all the way up to 1 to million. Infinity, infinity to question infinity mark, question mark, question mark. Exactly. Yeah. But like, it's weird because Mob Psycho mm -hmm. is a show that I always, I still consider to be like a new show and all of that mm -hmm. stuff. It is, And yeah. yet when I think about it, it's like, oh, wait a minute. This show has kind of gone through the, the timeline of the channel as well. Because mm -hmm. like we watched season one before. The channel. Yeah, right you know, before the channel. Right before the yeah. channel. I think it came out season... the year the channel was started. Right, 2016, I think. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And then season two, watched on the channel, but like, that was a while ago now. Mm -hmm. Like, that, that was a good while Three ago. years ago. Yeah. yeah, and now, season three, and it's like, okay, yeah, let's do it. Bones gonna pop off with their mm -hmm. special sauce that they cook in the back while uh, nobody's right. paying attention. They're like, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we go hard here. All the other <laughs> anime are like... Are, are breaking bad like trying to watch and figure out the formula and it's like no we can we can cook it that good no no you can't you can't you don't not 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 this shit <laughs> like i am i'm so excited walter's uh screaming from the car no take it seriously please watch it it's the final season it's mom psycho 100 no <laughs> me when i see reagan again <laughs> I mean, I mean, yeah, yeah, it's 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 true. Once we see Reagan, I'm going to feel this warm, like mm -hmm. comfy fireplace, long yep. chair kind of thing that I'll That's just right. get to ease back into. Be like, mm -hmm. ah, it's a good day. But not just Reagan, yeah. the Body Fucking Improvement Club. Let's go! Yes, I I, I love the boys, the boys mm -hmm. in this That's right. in this in this story. Just it's so good. But having it end means there's a couple things we're probably gonna wrap up. Mob getting a girlfriend. That's, that's maybe a, that's that, a big, that could happen. That's a big part of the story mm -hmm. thus far. It's carried over across both seasons. The secret hasn't been resolved yet. The secret of secret the, lore of all of the different salt mm -hmm. and vinegar middle schools. And, oh, that. And, and oh, all of that. Shit, oh, yeah. You know? No, I was talking about the question mark, question mark, question mark form. You know, that's been there. Oh. You know, Jacob's like, oh, that. Yeah, yeah. Right. He's like, I sure. Right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> but but also maybe even more important, mm. will Teruki Hanazawa get his hair back? I hope not. I think he. I mean, kind of has had the opportunity to a couple times. He and progresses out of his orange boy like you know yeah, status he's, and he's he's fine with the way things are. He's secure. Right. He's confident. Yes. I mean, he kicked he kicked ass in season two. He did indeed. And he kind of has a couple new friends now because of the yeah. season two escapades. I so, I can't wait for like the epilogue. Of this show, like it's gonna hurt also because then that would mean that the show's over. It's gonna like, be better than the but, season one epilogue, that's for sure. <laughs> season one had an epilogue, right? yeah, yeah, where they go and look after the random like yokai thing that was like, <laughs> oh shit, I, I haven't watched season one in a while. Yeah, Mob Psycho is one that I, I love to every once in a while. I'll go back and watch like two episodes a season, mm. like here yeah. and there. Um, it, it gives me a lot of really warm fuzzy feelings because mm -hmm. it yep. hit that it hit that that sweet spot of being the really wholesome shonen protagonist but then also the actual like really really heartfelt like hard heavy emotional stuff yes it's just yes. really good but enough gushing about the show mm -hmm. y'all season three is here let's get into it mm. this again yes yeah. oh なすすべもなく、ただ恐怖の闇に突き落とされてしまう。うん。人筋の光を差すべく日々戦い続ける者たちが霊能力者と。うん。ノベ。Let's <sighs> It's been a wild ride. Uh -huh. I saw so many clips yeah. and bits from the previous seasons there. That big old three right there. Oh, oh. yeah. <laughs> oh my god, that's... All right. 
Career path. Ah, uh, yes. Okay. Oh. Fitting start. Hmm. Hmm. Yep, yep, the telepathy club. Oh my god. <clears throat> Damn. Hey, mob! Ladies and gentlemen, he's below average. <laughs> yeah, below average. Oh. That's right, we also need to resolve that. Yeah, yeah. She's not an eggplant, a potato, or a cabbage, or a green bell pepper. Yep, oh, yep, no. yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. I love that it's... Number four! Wow. Studying abroad in high school? What the hell? But I love that her friends are consistently... Already 7%. Like, the same plants. Yeah. You know? Here he is! A handful of full time. Don't employees. doubt my That's ambition. A yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, we, we had this talk in season two. You, mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yes, indeed. Very amazing. Oh, hey, Serizawa. Awesome. Huh. Huh, yes, okay. yes. I knew he was going to do the... <laughs> Details. It's, details. Yeah, it's not important. <laughs> I love the menus mm -hmm. that Reagan has oh, yeah. for his services. It's got options. Oh my god! The sticker was still on it? Wow. <laughs> said to watch and observe, you know? Oh my god. Oh. Oh, all right, okay. all right, yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Reagan's like, I need to make sure I have a replacement for when Mob leaves. Right. <laughs> no, don't worry. <laughs> Oh my god, yes! Yes! Just some sticky rice? <laughs> oh, yes! The narrator is back! <laughs> yes! That's amazing! Yes. He unlocks the potential of even a grain of rice! Yeah, yeah, exactly! You can relax a little. Oh. Mm. <laughs> the and the parents are like, um, at least pick office worker. Yeah. You know? It will mm -hmm. change later, yeah. Ah, uh, worrying about the future. Yeah. That's a great arc for him to kind of finish his story on, you know? Yeah. Yeah, evil spirit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I did used to do that. Yeah! Oh my god, he's one of the last... One of the lowest in grades! 
Wait, wait, he's randomly like wow. one of the smartest people yeah. in the school. <laughs> wait, that's such a good joke. Yep, yep. And dead, basically dead last for, for, for Tenga. Yep, yep. Tenga's getting big though. Yeah. <laughs> he wants a weeb girlfriend. Right. <laughs> oh, this is great. They're worried about something. Hmm. <laughs> oh my <Yeah>. god. Oh. <laughs> well. Uh. Yeah, but who cares about a big thing of broccoli, you know? A divine tree. Wow. Uh, yeah, that, that makes sense. That makes sense. And it has the mob, like, face look underneath it. Oh my oh, god. Really? Yeah. Ah, oh, yes, the psycho helmet. <laughs> yes. Because the head of the broccoli is the helmet, and they had the bottom oh part god. drawn with his eyes and his face. <laughs> oh my god. Hmm? Rank 60. Yeah. Okay. Everyone's got a passion. Mm-hmm。もっともっと大きな出来事になるかも。あれはなかなかないでしょ。言葉の派手さとか、肉体改造部に見える仕方とか。あ、方が大きな出来事。いや、まず、ブロッコリーだし。じゃあ、モブ君
Yes! 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 <laughs> Sarazawa figured it out. Mm -hmm. Yes, every time this music yeah. comes in. Yeah, they just use their psychic powers to clean the room. Whew. And just like that. <laughs> well, uh, you have insurance? Yep. And then he needs to move someplace else where all the baggage from the location is, isn't there anymore. And then, you know. <laughs> ah! <laughs> 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 nice. <笑>お、お、し、じ、うん。何も思ってない。おお。逆に影響を受けてたら持たねえぞ。人生まだ折り返してもいねえだろう。これも後悔してるなら早めに気づけてラッキーじゃねえか。Exactly. It's understandable, yeah. That's true. Mm. Alright. Okay, alright. Yeah, that's it.人生設計を立てやすい。10代のうちに何か見つけないと苦労するかもな。ゆっくりと一人旅がしたいと思うようになった。マラソン大会での影山を見る限り大丈夫かな。いや。いや、you've got Wow, that's a lie. What a lie. That's a lie. Way to go, mob. Shit. Reagan's going to be so encouraging of that. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, and that's how you can choose your yeah. passion. You can mm -hmm. just have something that comes to mind on a whim. But then you came <laughs> along. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I fucking love Reagan. True. Yeah. All right. You could become a person who's an office worker that takes their time traveling all the time. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Did he just quit? Or was he saying, like, at the end of the season, he's going to be leaving? Oh, wait, what's this? The broccoli? Oh, shoot. Is all of their collective and Oh. Oh, my God, Dimple. Oh, my gosh. Oh my gosh, all this collective belief and uh -huh. and, yeah. and, yeah. and and psychic energy yep. from regular yep. people mm -hmm. starting to worship the thing. We're about to have a primal. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> the broccoli primal. <laughs> yes. Oh my god. Alright, mob's back, y'all. That was that was such a sweet episode. And I, it, I loved it. Was it was a really contemplative episode. Yeah. You gotta spend a lot of time mm -hmm. figuring out where Mark uh, Mark. Mob's final arc mm -hmm. will uh, be from here on out. He's worried about the future. 
understandable yep. for a final bit here. Mm-hmm. Um, he's thinking about, oh, shoot, I don't think I'll be able to go to the high school that the girl I have a crush on is going to. Yep. I don't even know what my passion is. Mm-hmm. I definitely don't want to work the rest of my life at, you know, Reagan's shop or what have you. Yep. But, you know, I'm, I'm fine doing that for now. And people are all telling me I have to decide my life right now. God, that's right. stressful. Yeah. Like, yeah. If you're like, if you're like a young teen, uh huh. That's that's what? no, that's, that's that's really difficult. That shit still stresses me out now. Yeah, exactly. Like, and I'm 27. Yeah. Like, like. Yeah. So 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 yes, I'm totally there, mob. I yeah. get you. And I gotta say, having an episode where that stuff is given ample focus at the beginning mm-hmm. of the final season is very important mm-hmm. because while well, mob has had a lot of crazy psychic conflicts and things like right. that first and foremost it is a character conflict journey for that sure psychic stuff is a spotlight to prop up right right and so having this at the beginning yes good move we got to see some visuals and yeah psychic powers being thrown around and everything and and some ways in which the clients ended up being ways for this subject matter to be explored by showing right. people who are the kind of people that get taken advantage of and mm-hmm. thus over fixate on a specific thing or yep. someone who basically ends up getting depressed because they're in this uh, situation that they don't see a way out of. Mm -hmm. And then the very thing that is keeping them kind of stuck is the thing that they're leaning on for security. Right. And Mm -hmm. yeah, that was a really good, like it hits too close to home because I, I've seen many different instances or iterations of that type of living situation for not just like a single guy or what have you, Uh but also like a family. And it's like, oh, oh it, it hurts because I'm like, I, I, I have no say in being able to like try and help. Like you have to mm. actually like, you have to right. You can't take just it very slowly. You can't just wave your psychic hand around and exactly. suddenly it's all gone. It's uh-huh. a, it's a, oh, it's it's tough. Yeah. So that that hit close to home as well. But then taking the kind of the hoarder kind of depression side out of it, just the idea of someone being like. Did I make all the wrong choices? Yeah, what do I do? Like, like, it, yeah. Mm-hmm. And then Serizawa, someone who's brilliant to have in this scene because he's now, you know, helping them out and stuff, right. is like that. That reminded me of all the things uh-huh. that I've done. But yep. Serizawa, yeah, you're only thirty, right? Like, you're you're fine, dude. Yeah. You're okay. Like, you're realizing this now. Yeah, great. You know, knowing mm-hmm. is half the battle, right? So, right. so what you gonna do? You know, I, I love hearing stories because it's it's so. Um, I would say it's so, uh, how would I say this? It's so, it brings peace, basically, Hmm. to understand that there's a lot of people that have specific passions that probably um, went through a large portion of their life not seeing the fruits of their labors and efforts until a very specific point and realizing, oh, shoot, then they ended up absolutely just taking off in a specific way. One of my favorite stories is the late uh, Alan Rickman, who yeah. was an actor for a long time before he ended up breaking out into Hollywood. Mm-hmm. And during that time when he was acting, I'm guessing he must have had many times of right. self-doubt and yeah. I, uh, you know, uh-huh. not believing that maybe he made the right choice. And then Die Hard, and then a whole bunch of movies, and then Harry Potter. And you it's hear just the like, success- oh my God. That- you hear the success stories, and, and it becomes a, mm-hmm. a optimistic, hopeful... Mm-hmm. You know, wonderful thing, right? Right. But for the person who lived that life, it wasn't mm-hmm. right. necessarily right. Now it might maybe have been they, hell. It might have been hell, right? And yeah. maybe they, maybe they, they, they found a way to to truly be present with it and enjoy yeah. it, find and joy, drink in the deep midst of, of it. life. Yeah. You know, in the midst of all of that, right? Mm-hmm. But on the other hand, it could be something where it's the oh, decades of you know hope being deferred, right? Mm-hmm. Like like th- what. What do you do, do you with do? that? Yeah. You know, and then, oh, yeah, it's only later that, hey, it takes off and, you know, it ends up being this thing where you get yeah. the the re- the reinforcement from it. And sometimes that just never happens. Like yep, some, sometimes, sometimes it never happens. never happens. Sometimes it happens after you're dead. Because there's you know? no, there's no, um, there's no right or wrong path in the, in the objective sense. There's a lot more forces in the world than just you. Totally. So yeah. the idea that people will be like, oh, did I make the wrong choice? It's like, well, n- no, it's never so simple as the one choice or the the one little unlucky thing. It's always a combination of a whole bunch of other things 
But when we try to rationalize it as being like, oh, I made the right choice, so things are going to go great now. Or, oh, I right. made the wrong choice, now everything's Sometimes fucked, it's out of you your know? control, right. Yeah, and, sometimes and, it's completely out of your control. And I love this setup as a conflict for mob because yeah. it's something that I see a lot of young people having, and I know I myself have had it as oh, well. Oh, for sure, same. Where, um, especially if you've gotten told that you're special, gifted, talented, whatever, then that suddenly means that there's a lot of pressure, and then if you don't do things well, then it's then it's this big deal, right? As opposed to, you're just another person. Mm-hmm. If you mess up, it's no big deal, it's no big deal right? Yeah. And that's something that I think because of mob psychic powers, it's the no, but it is a big deal. What if right. I have a freak out, right? Yep. And then that that spirals with his general stresses and things yep. like that, right? Yep. But at the same time, relax. It's you're a kid okay. in the Body Improvement Club. Mm-hmm. You go on runs, and you know you try and lift some weights every once in a while. Yeah, now he's right? now he's back in the telepathy club too. I, I kind of like that he got some time to spend with both of them. Mm-hmm. Um, one, it was a nice way to catch up with everybody, remind people of their names. I like that they focused on the students' test score rankings, like their grades and stuff like that. Uh-huh. And it was like a oh right mob. It's okay. There's a lot of people around you, mm-hmm. and while they may not have the best like academia kind of choices being made from the typical society kind of stuff there. Most of them seem really happy about what they're going to be doing. Right. Even just Tenga, who's lifting weights, trying to get his life back in order, just wanting to really end up in a co-ed school with the manga club so that he can Uh hang out with a girl that likes anime and manga. And I'm like, hey, yeah, 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 Tenga, you go. You You live that dream. Live that JoJo dream. Yeah, exactly. Uh We're we're cheering you on, buddy. Mm -hmm. Um, Yeah. Some of them are just going to be, yeah, using their muscles for things that they've been working on. And... So sure. What, one of the other things that I that I really appreciated is mm-hmm. is the bit of having the the one with the buzz cut in the body improvement. Program. Yeah, yeah the, the, the the one random member that's, that's just randomly number like number two in the school, right? Because because there's he doesn't that, make a big deal about it. Nope, 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 exactly. There's there's that whole you know stereotype of like ah yes the muscle heads must not have good grades and all that stuff and right. and a lot of them don't. For most know. of them, they don't. Right, they're, exactly. You know, they're it's on just, the bottom third of things. Yeah, exactly. But, you know, then there's this random dude who who does. And yet, you know, you could say that there could be a lot of pressure from that. Oh, I'm number two in the whole school. Mm -hmm. Fucking, am I going to be number one? Am I going to go down? Or he's just a decently disciplined person. Yep, exactly. Right. He's able to juggle a bunch of things and he's got his priorities in a very, like, simplistic, like, Mm -hmm. I manage these small number of things. And I don't try to pretend like I need, you know, other things in my life because I don't necessarily. I'm happy. Like, it it felt very... It felt very mob to to have something like that where it's just, oh yeah, psychic powers are nice and everything, mm-hmm. but that's the stuff that's really cool, you know, where it's the I I know what I'm about and what I want to do and I've you know yeah reconciled my own inner you know insecurities mm-hmm. and all of that stuff and and I'm living life, yeah. you know. It's like cool. I, I love also that Ritsu was awesome, giving like just really good just brotherly just advice mm-hmm. and just being there for him. It's just, yeah, that was there's, great. There's some. There's some really cool opportunities for this show to kind of remind us that Mob's got a lot of cool people around him. Mm-hmm. It's been two seasons of him yep. getting, you know, connected with other people and stuff like that. And there's still others that we didn't get to see this episode that would be right. in his corner. So it's awesome. Mm-hmm. Um, yep. The broccoli thing. This is the world building development. Um, right. The Psycho Helmet cult mm-hmm. um, yep. is starting to attribute the broccoli as a sign from their god being which is uh-huh. accurate actually right because it it is yeah. him but i have to show you because it was so brief but it freaked me out when uh the the, sh- the ways in which they were organized at the base of the broccoli yeah yeah they they literally planted hedges in a drawn look wow look at that they yeah. planted hedges in a shape so that it it looks like from the sky the that's oh boy like so there's been a natural disaster right mm-hmm. all the people see this freakishly large tree type thing which is yeah. just a broccoli uh-huh but the city around it is destroyed this happened the other day people are reeling from this yep the this is the the psychosphere if that you they're, will is, that they're uh, hanging on is to. all crazy right now oh yeah yeah so uh-huh. there could be some 
really ridiculous stuff that Dimple taps into if he starts to uh he get a bit ambitious again. Well, and theoretically he might not even he might not even mean to the way that he was like like I was expecting when he was yeah, like he was just sleeping like, on it like, like hmm. yeah resting on the or broccoli on that he yeah. that he'd look down and be like oh I could work with this but now there's a part of me that's like wondering if like someone will randomly just like see him somehow or something I don't know and then attribute and then suddenly people they tell everybody everybody and then all of this power gets attributed to Dimple and then he's like oh wait oh uh, hmm. well I I think he could do that he doesn't need to have it be an accident all right. he would need to do is just mm-hmm. be like oh yes. It, I am a representative of that god. Yes, yes, yes. exactly. And he just possesses I'm, I'm somebody. I'm prophet or whatever. And just yeah. becomes the prophet of, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, because, like, Dimple, Dimple in kind of a similar situation to Reagan, except we got the Reagan focus in the previous season, but it's mm-hmm. the, ah, I am an evil spirit. And I never, I never, like, like say otherwise. You know, mm-hmm. it's like, I am, I, I know what I'm about. I want, you know, I want the stuff that I want, you know, and I'll that's take how over your is. body at one day, Mom. Exactly, right. But he's a he's a good guy. But he's so cute. He's got the little dimples and everything. No, no, you really. Know? He's he's yeah. a good guy. He's been there for Mob, and this right. is something where, if anything, he might unintentionally by trying to help Mob do something that causes a bit of chaos. Sure. I think that's where we're at. I don't think he's, I don't think he's gonna be greedy or right something if, here. And even if he does, I think it's something where dimples dimples been reformed over the course of the show. True. Absolutely. He might just not realize it yet, you know? And so... No, he's... he's, 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 he's it's self-deprecating humor. Sure. He's, he's saying, yeah, I'm an evil spirit. Whatever. Yeah, you yeah, know? yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, but but he's, no. he's a good he's a good boy. He's Every a good boy. This, this show is just filled with good boys, mm-hmm. and they, they, they deserve all the love, yep. and, and we are, we're here to give it to them. But, That's okay, right. very ominous. Very ominous. The fact ominous. that the masses could mm-hmm. create something out of this in the same way that in this episode, Mob, Sarazawa, and the one guy... Made ended a big up old thing. Making one, just the three of them. Yep. Now, obviously, we have two psychics in there, right. but it could be that no, their emotions aren't any more special than sure. any other humans just because they're psychics. Right. And if that's and if that's what happens when you have three people that sort of all spiral together, mm-hmm. what happens when you have a few hundred or a few thousand? Uh, yeah. 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 Who uh-huh. then attract more? Maybe. Yep. Yep. Uh huh. What if? What if it becomes what a if, singularity where then it causes stuff or, to happen and then people are like, ah, this or, is a real thing. They have power and then but, people but, flock to it. And then, but, 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 but hold on, hold on, hold on. But what if this is the explanation for question mark, question mark, question mark? Because it's like an alternate form of mob, right? What was the question mark, question mark thing? Again? It's, it's the thing that was basically the beyond 100%. The oh, thing okay. that would yeah, show yeah. up and it would be basically mobs' raw, unbridled power. The, mm-hmm. the, right. the, the galaxy, you know, level power. Right. This could be that because it is a form of mob's power that could then get taken in and okay. So mob could end up having to fight himself as the final boss. I mean that could be fun, yeah. yeah. And and that would be fitting, like thematically right. and all that stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. Also, I gotta say the bit with Reagan talking about how why he started this and you know just on a whim and everything. Yeah. But then all he of a sudden, quit in a year. He got to quit in a year when it got boring. But then it didn't get boring. Eh, yeah. That was so sweet. Ugh. I love it. Yeah. I love it. I love their dynamic. And I love that, that Mob's like, I think I need to move on. You mm-hmm. know, and, and Reagan's like supportive. And Serizawa's and... a sufficient replacement. Yep, yep. And exactly. also in some ways, Mob is doing his best to play the part so that Serizawa believes that Reagan is actually, you know, a mm-hmm. big deal. Yep. Which is, which is fun. So it's like, ah, okay, yeah. cool, cool. There must always be a Reagan. You know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> or there must always be a Mob who can kind of exactly. get that his master is, you know, pulling his leg a little bit. But it's uh-huh. like, no, but you're still a good master. You know? Exactly. Because he is. He is. He is. He is. He is. He's the great master, mm-hmm. Reagan Zuko. Yep, that, but, that's uh, right. Yeah. Y'all, thank you so much for watching this episode's reaction and discussion. If you want to see the next episode's reaction and discussion right now, though, go check out the link in the description below for our Patreon. You can get an early access there. You can watch full-length primary reactions there, and all this comes with Discord access. You can chat with us in the community there about this show, about anime in general, and also be sure to check out our Twitch channel. We do streams every weekday. The info's in the description. Yes, yeah, so if anything that interests you, we'll see you there. But until then, we're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we'll see you all next time. time.